Do you wear wigs? Uh, no, I do not. Have you worn wigs? No, I have not. Will you wear wigs? Maybe. When will you wear wigs? <laughs> Two episodes ago, we rolled the Revenant chunk. This meant a 1,000 hour grind to greenlog the Revenants as well as get 89 agility and 87 fletching with subpar methods for all three goals. In the last episode, we made insane progress on these goals by snagging ourselves an early crossbow within our first 10,000 Revenant kill count. Can we keep making progress this week? Let's find out. Welcome back to Canifis Chunk. If you enjoy these videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. We're in the Rev Cave, so there's a ton of content to show you, and I'm going to try and release these weekly for the time being, and I don't want you to miss a second. Here is a list of all the tasks that we got to do in the Revenant chunk with green ticks on the ones that we already have completed at the start of the episode. Hello, and welcome back to, I believe, episode 9? of the can of fish chunk video i just uploaded the last one and i mentioned in it that my plan was to uh was to skull up with the crossbow in the rev caves but i'm a bit scared of that so reason being look if i turn on my quick prayers you can see i've got a minute remaining on that for f43 prayer which is protect magic eagle eye and protect item if i disconnect that's going to go to zero um, just in the one minute that it takes for your character to actually log out of the world. So if that happens, I'm going to lose my crossbow if I'm sculled in the Rev Cave. So <laughs> that is what we want to avoid. Um, if I turn that on only, it's a lot longer. And if I do it like that, it's a decent amount longer as well. Um, which is all well and good. Um, but my main worry is that because super restores, which I can get as more blighted super restores, I can get as a drop from the revs, uh, only heal up like 17 prayer points or something. I obviously can't be 44 prayer points all the time because that's my max. So I'm going to be down at like 25 if I'm getting the most use out of my potions. But if I'm in that, in that scenario, then I leave myself open to just get smited. Um, <laughs> um, must, yeah, one quarter of damage dealt is also removed from the opponent's prayer. So, you know, if I get just hit down from 70 hit points to zero, I'm going to be really pushing it close on on just getting smited if I disconnect. So it's not really worried about getting smited by people BKing me. It's more being worried about people smiting me if I DC. Um, so, yeah. Having said that, first thing I'm going to do then is go to Green Dragons and just get my prayer up. And the Green Dragons this time should be a lot easier because I've got a crossbow. So, uh, yeah, let's get stuck into that, see how fast the kills are and if I can do any better safe spots or anything like that. Do you remember when these used to take me, like, two minutes per kill? <laughs> and now they're just, like, AFK. So I've decided to not pick up the green dehyde because I just don't think it really helps me too much. Um, oh, fuck. Um, yeah, I don't think it really helps me too much. Uh, with what I'm trying to do. I will take emeralds, though, because they could be useful for teleports in the future if I can get access to gold bars in some way. Um, but, yeah, I think this is going to be really useful. I might get into the 50s of prayer, maybe. I might not do it all in one go, but I'll do it eventually. Um, but, yeah, this is going to be super helpful and relatively quick, and having the Ectophuntus is going to be very helpful indeed. Okay, I found a world free of PKers. If I stand exactly here, which I can't mark because I'm not going to plug and turn on, then I can kill this one and this one safe spotted without moving and then just loot the bones and then they should be spawning back in by the time I've done that. Yeah, so five seconds on that. Grab that. Oh, not that. Grab that. And then step back to that. Perfect. This is not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, I totally forgot that these drop nature runes, which is actually very useful for me for if I need to alk anything. These are my by far my best source of nature runes. Um, it's quite tricky for me to get them. There's nothing better than this. I mean, even this isn't great in terms of just pure nature runes, but can be very, very useful for me. 
Um, don't need the Addy Med Helm anymore, the Addy Full Helm anymore, because we've got a Rune Full Helm. No, we've got Dragon Med Helm as a best in slot, I guess, but we can't use that yet, but I can use the Rune, Rune Full Helm. I'm not entirely sure if I've ever done a Freaky Forester event on this account in 32 days of game time. So yeah, it's going to take us a little while until we uh, we start getting lamps from that one. But that is another one where we will get lamps, which is exciting stuff. Because if there's one thing I need, it is lamps. Because uh, yeah, 15 Hunter is, is not great uh, when I need to get 27. <laughs> oh, kill me. Big level about to come in 80 magic. Huge. I might stop there for now because if I get a Theramon Scepter and I want to do a magic grind, I'll be kind of annoyed if I level my magic too high. So I might just stop there for the time being. Might go 85 at some point, but not just yet. Um, but yeah. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Right, let's get back to either Green Dragons or Revenants. I'm not entirely sure which I'm doing. Right, apologies if you can hear the diggers outside, but I asked in the last video, should we get the respawn point in Ferox Enclave? So you unlock it with Ferox there, which is in my chunks, and the respawn location is over there, which is out of my chunks. But at the moment when I die, I'm ending up in Lumbridge, which is, you know, even further out of my chunks. So. You know, it's an unlock within the chunks with a questionable spawn location. I think the idea that I went with was, yes, I have to unlock it and therefore use it, but I can't use it on purpose. So I can't die as a means of teleporting to Farrakh's Enclave um, on purpose. You know, it's, it's only there for if I die uh, without meaning to, so that I'm closer to the chunks that I actually have. Um, tell me more, so let's do that. Okay, switch my respawn to Pharyx Enclave. Right, there we go. So that was 5 million of my gold gone. We're down to 2.7 mil left. Luckily, I'm not having to buy Addy Arrows anymore, so the, the, the GP stack isn't really diminishing. And I've got emblems that I could trade in, and I've got a lot of alkables that I could alk if I needed to, I mean... Look, that's three mil just in the rune plates and rune plate legs. So, yeah, we're kind of laughing on that. Uh, we've got a lot of these which look like they have a high elk value, but I'm going to have to break them all down for ether at some point because the crossbow, as good as it is, it does absolutely devour ether charges. So, yeah, that's kind of where we're at at the moment. Um, it's good though. I'm enjoying the chunk. I'm enjoying it even more now I've got a crossbow. I'm really getting the itch though to skull up in the rev caves. Um, so I really need to just go and do the green dragons at some point. Maybe I'll do that while I'm on mobile or something. So, uh, so um, it does because because rev caves is scary even unskulled because of this. So like you know if I die I'm gonna lose two thousand one hundred ether which is a lot of money. <laughs> it's like, you know, three, four, five hundred K and I can't just get infinite ether charges. So yeah, let's get on with it. Okay. I've never used this spot before, but it is very cool. Uh, you cannot get hit by the Revenant Dragon. Um, if you stand exactly here for some reason that I don't know, sorry if you can hear the building work. That is crazy. I loud that being. Um, the only reason that it might not be viable is that my accuracy is not, I don't think, quite high enough for the dragon. Because um, it does heal for some reason. When you do this with the Revenant Knight over there, it doesn't heal. But this Revenant Dragon does heal. And I can't necessarily consistently out-hit the healing uh, really well. So this might not be worth it in the long run. But pretty cool, though, that you can just stand here and not take any damage from it because that's the main thing with it well that kill went relatively smoothly actually um and the drop rate on items from the dragon is like absolutely crazy so yeah i'll give this an, i'll give this a bit of a go I'll give it a fair test and have a look so actually i think what i'm gonna do in the early stages of this video is try and find the best spot that i can that's a weird animation bug isn't it um try and find the best spot that I can in terms of kills per hour. So I'm measuring the dragons at the moment. I'll do sort of 20, 30 minutes of this and see what the XP, what the kills per hour is. 
Uh, I'll do it at some of the other kind of best spots in the game. And then I'll do the maths on drop rates versus kills per hour to decide what is the best place to end up. Um, and if and where we're going to skull. Okay, so we've got 12 kills in 15 minutes, which doesn't feel great to me in terms of uh, rev weapons per hour. I'm going to uh, just quickly move over to quad, see if I can find a mostly empty world. And I'm just going, oh, this is not too bad, actually, two MS beers, um, and see how many we can get here. So we just finished at quads. We got 10 Cyclops kills and 11 Demon kills, which is, you know, uh, 20... 21 kills overall, which me and we got to times that by six, so 126 kills per hour, I believe, which I think, well, I'm 99% confident is going to be better than the dragons for at least rev webs per hour, but we shall see. What I'm planning on doing is making a little spreadsheet of all the different methods and uh, and showing you guys some really, really stonking data to uh, back up my choices in future. Okay, next up is the Orc, but the problem with Orcs is there's only two of them, and there is always a bot here in some form. Um, if I skull up, I reckon I can get them to leave, because I just attack them and they teleport straight away, but as is, they don't leave, so I can't actually get on both Orcs at all, unless I pit them like that, <laughs> which is quite good, but I can't kill them fast enough to constantly have the two, so yeah... That could kind of influence the numbers a little bit negatively, but I guess if there's always a bot here, then, you know, that's just a feature of the orcs, really, and there's not much I can do about that. So, yeah, just going to bear that in mind. And potentially when we scull up, I'll run this test again. I will never tire of the dragon plate skirts. So good. Okay, the bot left, so potentially we might get some time with both orcs here right now, which is... Uh, Probably good. So we got four minutes of one orc, and then hopefully, you know, another few minutes at least of two to kind of give us a bit of a balanced assessment. Um, but the orcs, the orcs feel nice, and the fact they're in low will is very nice as well. Okay, so we're looking at twenty-two kills in twelve minutes, which means times that by five, so a hundred and. 10 kills per hour at the Orcs, which really isn't too bad, is it? Um, that's very good. We did sort of have a probably 60-40 split on two to ourselves versus um, versus having to share. So that kind of ties in a little bit. But yeah, not too bad. I think if I'd had a fresh run at the quads, I'd have probably got a lot more than 126 though, right? Um, so I guess it's kind of fair in that regard. Okay, so next up, we're going to keep it where we've had luck before and try out the Pyre Fiends. Now, I think the risk here is that the Crawl's Bow will just be too OP for the Pyre Fiends and I'll kill them too quickly for their respawn timer. But might still work out and it'll probably be pretty uncontested, um, or it used to be. Uh, <laughs> although I can't actually necessarily attack the bots because I'm not really willing to skull up at the moment. But there we go. So it is 5.07. And we have, I don't know how many on the counter, but we shall see. So yeah, look, I mean, I'm going to kill them very quick. And they have a 35 second respawn timer. Um, so yeah, that's going to be a bit rough. But let's see how we do. Oh, fucking hell. How, how rare are they? I don't even want to know. <laughs> Six magic seeds. <laughs> totally useless for me because I don't have access to farming at all. But maybe nice in future. So in 10, no. Yeah, 10 minutes of Pyre Fiends, we have killed 26 of them. So we need to times that by 6, which is, uh, come on, maths, 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 156 of them. Um, so that is not too bad. Oh, <laughs> A little bit of a spoiler there for uh, me writing my scripts for the videos. Uh, but yeah, 156 of them per hour. I don't think this is going to beat quads out on the drop rates for the weapons. Um, but we shall see. Uh, I've got a couple other places I want to try. But I think this is going to be strong, but not the strongest. So I decided not to do any other revenants because they just weren't as good. Um, just uh, even without trialing them. 
Um, but these are the ones that we've got and the GP and unique rate per one. So the dragons, obvious right off. The GP per hour, not great. The hours for a unique, terrible. Um, Pyre Fiends, decent on the uniques per hour at 54 and 30. But the GP per hour is miserable at about 1.1 mil. Uh, where it really sort of comes about a sort of six and two threes is between quads and orcs. So they're about the same as a unique for a unique on this spreadsheet, uh, but the GP per hour on the orcs is slightly better. I think I got quite a good like run at the orcs in this in the sample that I did in comparison to quads. I th in quads I got attacked and had to wait sort of like 45 seconds. Um, and in the orcs I didn't get attacked at all and there wasn't there someone for uh, there wasn't someone there for more than half the time, which is pretty rare at orcs. So I think quads is going to be the best. I th just the bot infestation makes quads the best because there's like four in one room, so there's just a lot more often times like like there's one up that you can get on um when i start sculling i think i'll probably run this again uh because if i skull it means i can attack the bots and the bots as we saw in the last video just teleport instantly if you attack them so what i'm thinking is like at quads and at orcs if i just attack the bot that's there i will have the place to myself and if I've got it to myself, then the kills per hour is going to be a lot higher. So we're going to be doing quads and orcs from here on out, probably leaning into quads mostly. But when we start sculling, we'll run the test again and see how we get on. Right, I'm actually just going to try sculling up and see if it helps at all um, with what we're trying to achieve. So let's stick that protect our owner. Oh, no. <laughs> I won't be sculling. Uh, player attack options, always right click. Let's just attack him and see if he tellies. No. Does he? No. Does he? No. Okay, right. That's that's not particularly good. Um, I need to just make sure I have protect item on at all times. Uh, okay, right. That isn't that great then because that is going to limit what we can I mean just look at the bot infestation it's absolutely crazy um I don't know what I can do to make them tell you that maybe just literally come here on an alternative account and just clear them out it's probably best <laughs> um we'll see <laughs> I'll be honest lads this is fucking scary <laughs> I'm like nervously checking my protect item every like five seconds my god but I, f I just feel like it's worth it like what, a 52, 53 hour rate down to a 27 hour rate. Like that's really big improvements, basically half the time. um, Like it's half the time. So like if I sculled up again, I'd probably get, I'd get two in the time I'd get one, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I just feel like this is probably worth it, even though it's slightly scary and it's putting me on edge. <laughs> I appear to have broken this bot. I attacked him a few times uh, to scull up and just to see if I could get him to teleport away. And he's just stopped and has been stood there for about five minutes or so. So, yeah, not really sure what's happening there. But so it appears we might be able to break the bots even if we can't get them to teleport away. I guess that's better than uh, actually, I guess that's actually better if they just stand there not doing anything. Oh, this is our first genie in a while. Stick that on Hunter, should be 16 yet, yeah, one level until we can catch baby implings with a butterfly net, but I cannot get access to a butterfly net, which is incredibly sad, but yeah, 11 levels to go until we can get ourselves the silver bar that we so desperately need. Uh, if you can't tell, I've just decided fuck it and I'm just going to skull up even though I'm 44 prayer. Um, it's not too bad, if I just flick the prayers like this, even if I disconnect, I won't run out. Uh, smite is quarter of your hit points, so even at 70, they'll only take 17 hit points off me. So as long as I stay above about 25, 30 prayer points, I should be safe short of my own fuck up. Uh, I'm not too worried that I'm going to just like get smited by a PK -er, um, if I haven't disconnected because I'm so paranoid with the 
making sure that I've got a uh, protect item on that I should be fine. Um, and yeah, I thought let's just get stuck in, get the improved drop rates and start rattling through these uh, these collection log slots because <laughs> there's a lot of them to get and uh, even the relics and stuff could go you know, into the multiple, multiple tens of thousands if we got unlucky. So I've seen a guy who off task sculled took 63,000 revenants to complete the collection log. So hopefully we don't go that dry. Uh, we're about 10,700 or something right now. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to keep going and see what we can get. Right, here we go. 80 range, look at that. We are filming clips just as we're shouting out our own YouTube channel <laughs> to people, which is outrageous. Um, there we go though, you, you, never too, you never get too many viewers to uh, turn down another one. I do my own advertising in game. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, 80 range. I'm sure that's just going to keep going up. I I wouldn't I wouldn't be too surprised if we get 99. I don't think we will. I think we'll probably end up probably mid 90s by the time we finish this chunk. But to be honest, I'm actually quite a high range level now. So if I got a if I got the mace in particular, I would probably just start using that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> man. Um, yeah, I'd probably just start using the mace because, you know, the range is decent now and having high melee stats would be helpful as well. So, yeah, I'd probably just immediately get 60 attack and, like, 80 strength. Now that I've moved to quads instead of the pyre fiends for a decent amount of time, the loot tab is just going crazy. Look how fat that is. 45 mil with only 2 mil of it being the emblems. Like... Such fat stacks. These these item stacks are going to be absolutely massive by the time we're done. Um, I'm kind of breaking even on the food now in comparison to what I was before. I used to get a lot more food and I didn't eat any when I was at Goblins and Pyrofiends, but the rest of it is just going absolutely crazy. We're net positive. We're going net positive on the ether, which is good. So that means we're keeping stacking it up. Because if I get any other wildy grinds, I'm going to probably need a lot of ether. Uh, so yeah, that's useful. And crucially, one of the next things we're going to do, at least on recording, is I'm planning on making myself a ring of wealth um not that it's useful at revenants but cool item to have and will actually give me a proper imbued ring what i need to do is go and get a cosmic rune and i believe i can get those from yeah i don't have any in a minute i believe you get those from banshees so if i can go and get one cosmic rune then i will be laughing and i'll be able to go and get myself a ring of wealth which i feel like is pretty cool for a chunk account not too bad. The singular gold bar, by the way, is from the pirate random. He's got like a chance of giving like a gold necklace or a gold ring or a gold bar. I can't actually get gold bars in any other way than that random event. So we can only make the one ring of wealth. I feel like the ring of wealth is better than making just a single ring of dueling that I'll just blast through really quickly. Um, but yeah, a ring of wealth is pretty cool. Oh my god, I just got unsculled and got Dragon Med straight away, which I think is like a... Oh, I don't think it's 1 in 2.5k anymore. I think that was only from Goblin, so it's not as rare as I thought it would be. But to get that straight away from, like, kill 1 is annoying. But I need to, uh... I need to scull up again. Uh, I guess I'll just... I'm not 100% sure if this guy's a bot or not, so I will just kick him rather than attack him on bow. Oh yeah, okay, here's a box. He started praying, mate. Oh! Right! That could be big, actually. So if I hit them with a style that isn't my bow, maybe they think they're getting PK'd and they run away? Potentially, because I've not had any of the bots run away from me um, when I hit them with my bow, but maybe that could be the strat. Hit them with the fists and then they just panic and leg it, thinking they're getting hit with melee. Ah. Oh, first pk -er. Uh, since we've been on the, uh, since we've got Skull with the crossbow, but luckily <laughs> he's only got 63 agility, so we got away with it, but that could have been a bit awkward. <laughs> uh, right, let's hop. Oh, here we go. Another PKer. 
Right, just need to make sure that we don't get smited. That's the only thing I have to do, is make sure we don't get smited. I'm not sure this guy out. Oh, this guy is 75 agility, which is kind of a rip. Really entirely sure what's the actually the best thing to do. I guess just run away and hope for the best. I don't, yeah, I really actually don't know what's the best thing to do. Um, yeah, this might just be a death. Unless I can kind of fakey him somehow. Hmm. Okay, alright, what are we going to do? Let's get away with this. I mean, his damage is really, really bad. <laughs> strategy is going to be to like, bait him into going across uh, when I don't. Ah, come on. <laughs> Just don't get smited. Don't get smited and we're good. Run, run, run. Okay, this might be the best bet. Come on. Get around here. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, I'm so shocked I got that one. I was really not expecting that. My god. That was stress. <laughs> wow. Okay, I would say that is a decent strategy then, just sort of mess them about on here, and then the run round there and round that corner seems like it's not a clear line of sight very well. Um, so yeah, I think that might be the play, really. Um, I think I might just have to bank, though. Re no, I'll stick with it. Watch this, though. You can definitely make the bots run by just kicking them. But See ya. And see ya. <laughs> so that is definitely the strategy to get rid of the bots going forward. Um, attack them with a bow and they, they don't react, but if you kick them, they, they just run away straight away. So that's good. I can't believe I escaped that PK. We're going to close the bag because we're going to start picking up all the food and restores and stuff that we get and just hope that the PK doesn't show up in the next kind of five minutes or so. Just got another PK on us. What's this guy's agility? 46. Okay, so this guy looks like he can do a lot more damage, but we should be decent to escape. Okay, run. Run. Oh, shit, don't get smited.
Okay, should be good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> starting to get quite late at night, and when it gets late at night, the PK is going a bit spooky. Right, we are actually venomed, which isn't good news. Um, okay, right, we need hop worlds uh, to get rid of the telly block. Uh, but then I need to get back without dying to that venom, and I have a very small amount of food um, And not very much run either, so what I might have to do is some log out strats on the way back um, oh. <laughs> Missed it <laughs> Missed it on that one, uh, but we shall try again um, So yeah, I think our best bet is just to kind of log out every so often. In fact, no, I think I should be all right um, to get all the way back. I think it's probably best that I don't log out because if I log out it will turn off my protect item and dying without the protect item would be literally the worst thing I could possibly do. So yeah, let's not do that. Okay, we made it back. <laughs> that was slightly nerve-wracking. Two PKs. I definitely got not smited, but you know, I let my prayer points get a little bit low on that second one. So I just need to be just way more on it with uh, making sure my prayer points stay high. I do think if I was sensible, I would just go to the green dragons and get my prayer up, but apparently I'm not. <laughs> I'll tell you what, an absolutely underrated part about using the crossbow that I've only just realised now why it feels so much better. Not having to pick up the arrows? So good. Just like charged bow, shooting shots, one ether per go. Oh, blessing. Having to not run over and pick up my arrows. Oh, I'm so pathetic that I don't have an avas accumulator, so I'm going to pick up my arrows like a fucking dork. Feels so good. Now I've discovered how to get the bots to leave. This is so much more peaceful and also so much better. I'm getting so many kills per hour in comparison because um, it's not quite happened here. But when I kill the demon really quickly, uh, you can sometimes be waiting like 10, 15 seconds for the other one to spawn back in. And in that time, being able to get on a Cyclops and just continue dealing damage just adds way more kills per hour. Um, so yeah, I might measure the kills per hour again of this and stick it back in the spreadsheet. Uh, let's kill you all. Oh, here we go. Okay, he's not smiting, so we should be okay. 67 combat, so he's got no agility, as you might expect. Looks like we should be good to get away. As long as he doesn't like hit every single fucking bind. Piss off. Oh, I've got so much loot in my invent as well. If I die to this guy, that would be annoying. Don't fucking turn off protect item. That isn't good. Okay, we're good. <laughs> All right. Not too bad. Right, definitely going to be banking now. Should have banked anyway. I've only got 27 left, but... 27 charges left, but we should be good. All right. Time to leg it to the bank. Oh, I think it might actually be the skull that makes them run away. Because I just ran into that room and like two bots just legged it and tellied. And I didn't even attack them. So I think it's actually just being sculled makes them teleport for some reason. Okay, right. Working theory. There are two bot farms at Revs that I can tell like distinctly. So there's one, which is the name plus three numbers. Uh, they are the ones that bolt if you just log in with a skull. Um, they protect mage instantly, run and log out or teleport. The other one is, it's like random letters, random letters, capital letter, random letters, random letters. Um, and that one doesn't teleport just straight away if it sees you. Um, it will actually kind of just stand there and start attacking stuff. But if you, so one of those ones, uh, well, it's logging out because it's not in combat, but... Some of them, uh, those ones, if they're in combat, will stick around until you attack them. If you attack them with a bow, they won't teleport out. If you attack them with your fist, they will teleport out. So uh, that's one of the ones that should just teleport, yeah, or log out. So that's the one that's less certain. Um, they seem to log out quicker. I think that's a better bot farm. The one with the three numbers at the end is lacking somewhat. So uh, here I am now getting such an in-depth understanding of the Rev Caves that I can identify the different bot farms and their relative strengths and weaknesses. <laughs> oh, I spent too much time here. 
Yeah, there we go. So, right, there's one of the ones, random letters, capital letter, random letters, has logged in. So, and there is, oh, God, I don't even know what that is. Um, so, if I attack this guy on my bow, look, he shouldn't run away. Yeah, he just starts eating, right? Um, if I run over with my bow unequipped and attack him, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Look at that. We are fighting the bot farms one line of code at a time. That is fantastic. I've got the cheat codes in the revenants right now. I'll be honest, this one might just have to be a death. Uh, yeah. Got the protect item on, so we keep the crossbow. Uh, first time first time responding at Ferox, though. That's cool. Um... Yeah, I just couldn't do anything there. That was a rip. I had so much loot on me as well in the looting bag. Oh, well. Um, happens from time to time. Yeah, not much I could do. He had the 75 agility, and he was kind of stacked on gear and levels. Like, he was 99 range, 99 mage, 98 strength. Like, not much I can really do in that scenario. Um, but, yeah, is what it is. Right, here we go. Quite a big level coming up, which is level. Obviously, now I stop hitting when I start recording. Classic. Level 81 range, which doesn't sound too important by itself, but we get two max hits from that. So we've had four levels of hitting 28 as our max hit, and now our max hit will be 30, which is very nice. Um, but time for me to bank. Let's have a look what this looting bag looks like. Small one, small one, baby one, 300k. Not too bad, though, I'd say. Uh, might be worth hopping away from whatever shenanigans are happening over there. <laughs> right, sometimes you just got to engage in some pest control. Right, he's already gone. He'll go as well. Oh, my God, he's attacked me back. Are you a real person? Oh, my God. Oh, no. No, I think he was just auto-retaliating. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> I got a bit scared for a second then. <laughs> I thought we were actually going to get cooked. <laughs> You see, this is where the bots kind of cost cost you, right? Oh, God, that's not a bot. Okay. Oh. Ugh. Leave. I'm trying to steal my world. <laughs> I hate real players. Bring back the bots. Okay, so now I'm not a massive pussy and I'm sculling up and therefore I can uh, get rid of bots whenever I fancy. Um, I might go and see how many kills per hour I'm getting again with at quad. So I can kind of kill three per spawn rotation, if that makes sense. So I can kill both these demons and normally get like half of a Cyclops down before the first demon respawns. So that should improve my kills per hour quite a bit. So I'm going to uh, set a timer and uh, see what we can get done. Okay, right. We'll call it there. So I've done 10 minutes. Oh, see, I've, I've, I've killed so many so quickly, I can't even get all the loot. Uh, right. Let's go for that. I'll leave one black dehyde. Um, and four battle staffs. So we killed a shitload in that time. So we killed 20 demons and 10 cyclopses in 10 minutes. So we're talking 180 kills per hour. Sculled? <laughs> That's nuts. That's going to be, what, less than 20k per unique... Uh, 20 hours per unique roll? That's mad. Okay, right, I'm going to plug those numbers into the uh, spreadsheet and see how, see how we get on. So I've added an additional line in, quads sculled and quads unsculled and then greyed out the irrelevant bits. Yeah, quads sculled is insane. 2.7 mil in GP per hour. So that isn't even including the emblems. That's literally just normal drops, battle staffs, rune plate bodies, black dragon hide, etc. Um, and then a unique uh, a unique in 20 hours. So it's actually slightly less than 20 hours because that times 20 would be 3,600. So it's probably technically 19.9 hours. So yeah, that's huge. Obviously that's not including banking time and any time I spend doing anything else. But... That's nuts. 20 hours for a unique. I mean, that's just insane. I cannot believe... Like, I'm, I'm definitely... like I got the hard bit out of the way, getting the crossbow. Doing the maple short by revs was fucking brutal. Um, but I feel like I've got the hard bit out of the way now and I can just sail through to uh, green log. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully I don't go crazy dry. 
Yeah, I think I might be a bit cooked on this one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I logged straight into that guy as well. Oh, that's so bleak. <laughs> At least I kept the crossbow. Every, every PK where I get killed by keep the crossbow is a success to me. There is 82 range, which is the first level for a little while. These levels have kind of got more and more XP, but actually they go quite quickly. Um, I'm getting a lot of XP per hour here, like well over 50k. Um, so yeah, XP is quite quick. I'm not sure when I get my next max hit with the, uh, with the crossbow. We're at 30 at the minute. Hopefully that can keep going up rapidly. Oh, here we go. Pretty newbie looking PK, so we might be okay. He splashed. Oh, we wouldn't want to run into them. Uh, I had an issue earlier where I didn't hop and it was just such a mistake, so... Fuck it, yeah, let's not hop again. Let's see if we can keep our world. I really don't like losing the world. Hopefully that guy just teleported straight away. Uh, or not teleported, but like, you know, hot world. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, earlier, right, I had it where I hopped away from a shit PK even after he'd up poisoned me. No, no, he splashed like that guy did. And then I went, ah, oh, we all right. And I went back in here and then he like got on me and froze me. I was like, oh my God, I just escaped from you with the agility shortcut. And he DDS'd me and like poisoned me. And then I escaped again. So I escaped from the same guy twice in like two minutes. And then, <laughs> and that was when I logged straight into that guy that like dropped me with claws. So, um... Yeah, hopefully, uh, you know, the arrogance doesn't come back to bite me again. Guess we'll just get rid of this bot as well. Hit him with a kick. See ya. Here we go again. Has this guy got really geared? He's all right. He's not got the agility, though. Loser. Let's not die whilst, uh, whilst talking shit. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> yes. Can you imagine anything more embarrassing than dying to chat and shit? That would be so. Imagine getting smited for my fucking uh, crossbow because I was just too busy chatting wank. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I think about twenty minutes ago, in in video terms, in in your terms, not not in mine. Probably about five days ago for me. But in twenty minutes ago, I think I said I'm going to go and make a ring of wealth in the next clip and then proceeded to just not do that. So um, what I'm gonna do now is do that. So uh, let's see, there we go, make the Dragonstone ring, lovely. And now what we need to do is go and grab ourselves some cosmic runes from Banshee. Right, time to see how broken the crossbow is outside of the wilderness, because I've only obviously used it inside, but it's still pretty good outside. Uh, we've got 800 and something charges. That should be more than enough to grab ourselves the cosmic runes. It's 17s without eagle eye. That's not too bad, is it, really? I don't know what the max hit is with... I don't know, that's because I've just got a protect item. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, this is a lot better than what, what were we were using previously. A steel scimitar here. Um, I mean, I know we've got an adamant sword now, but still, this crossbow is... <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> It makes me so unbelievably happy that I got this. It's so, so nice. I can't believe I get to use this now just for the rest of the account, and I'm going to get a Melee Magic version as well. So good. It was it was rough when I rolled the Revenants, because I was like, this is going to take a long time. But I do think these weapons are just going to make it all worth it. Oh my god, so good. And there are the cosmic runes. So let's imbue this uh, dragonstone ring and get our ring of wealth. Look at that. So I can view the boss log, which is obviously all at zero. I can toggle current. Oh, so I can collect currency automatically. That would be pretty cool at revs, but obviously I'd lose it if I'm sculled. Um, and in theory, I could teleport. You'll need to recharge your ring at the fountain of rune. Do you reckon you still need Hero's Quest, or is it Hero's Quest to recharge Dragonstone? If I don't, I'm actually really close to the Fountain of Rune. Um, yeah, one square away. So if I can get, if I can just roll that chunk, and this doesn't require heroes, I'll be able to use the, uh, the teleports. 
to, well, I wouldn't because they can teleport me, what, to the Grand Exchange and somewhere else that I don't have unlocked. But, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not too bad, I would say. Um, yeah. Ugh, I hate the, like, proper PKers, the, like, level 100 plus ones. It's so grim. Although, it looks like this guy thinks I'm going to be running south. Okay, has he got the agility? No, he hasn't got the agility. Look at his account and he's still not got it. Rip. <laughs> Honestly, that 75 agility is such a game changer. Again, it's been about two minutes. Leave me alone. Although, that guy appears to actually be leaving me alone. So. Okay. Okay, we all right? Are we safe? Oh my god, look, I ran away and within two fucking seconds, two bots have logged in. <laughs> it's unbearable. Oh no. Terrible timing. <laughs> I've never had this. Oh no. Right, okay, I think my best bet is to go into the rev caves. I think I'm fucked though. I've got no run energy. This is not good. <laughs> oh, I'm cooked. I need to make sure I don't get smited as well. I think I'm done. There's literally nothing I can do. Oh no. This is such an L. Oh, I'm so gutted. Look at that. Oh, my God. Right. Okay, he's 32 agility. So if I can just make it to the agility course. Come on. <laughs> oh, my God. That was not good. Ugh. Come on. Right, I need to splash, I need... No, oh, that was not good. <laughs> uh, I'm like, so... I'm full of loot as well. Come on. Oh, my God! You are joking. That is, <laughs> that's the worst. Oh, my God. Caught me five seconds before I went through the fucking barrier. Oh, my God. I just don't have a good feeling about this. <laughs> oh, that's definitely some kind of scout. Definitely. And here is 83 range as we hit a 30 with our crawls by 74 combat. Creeping up the combat levels is not what we want, which is one of the main reasons I haven't actually changed my prayer, despite saying at the start of the episode I would. Um, but it's cool to see, and I'm hoping that we can get a max hit off 83. I don't know, though, to be honest. Probably not. It seems to be about every four levels we get a max hit. Oh, my God. I literally just showed off, and I've got some cretin on me already. Uh, we should be good because he hasn't got the agility, but uh, didn't need that in my life. Run, run, run. Yeah. <laughs> I love it when they path backwards and don't even get to hit me over the gap. Love that. Love that. I can't find a world at the minute. Brutal. Hey, our first lamp for a while. Things you love to see. Right, is that going to get us a level? No. Oh, it's nowhere near getting us a level. We've got two more to go until level 17. Brutal. Oh, okay. Guess we, uh, guess we get one of these. Another one. I think that makes four. They're really common, I think. I think they're about a one in... 1200 one in 1300 something like that from uh from the demons and cyclopses so really not too bad but a free one mil nice little looting bag oh we absolutely hate to see the uh the voiders they aren't fun what's your oh he's 75 agility as well totally screwed all right fuck Right, don't get smited. That is like the worst thing you can do, pal. Okay. 
Yeah, I think we're just probably cooked here, to be honest. I don't think there's much I can do. Maybe I can lose him over here, but I'd have to do it quickly. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was brutal. <laughs> I'm losing... Do you know what? I'm getting PK'd a lot more recently. I don't know why. Um, but it's really costing me with the bracelets. I'm kind of negging charges at the minute, I think, overall. Which is kind of a bad thing. Because, I mean, I not only need to be breaking even, I need to be gaining. Because I intend on using the rev weapons pretty much everywhere once I'm done. And I'm just losing so many charges at the moment. Because, look, if I get Barrows, for example, I'm going to need to use the Theremin Scepter, like, to finish Barrows. To do, like, you know, a thousand Barrows runs. Which is going to be, you know, hundreds of thousands of charges. And what? That right there is 40,000 charges, something like that. And I'm negging as well. This isn't good news. What can I do? I'm also negging on the food really badly as well. Um, I don't know if I should just start banking more and banking more of the food. Um, that's probably the call. I probably lose more and more crossbow charges as well doing that. Mm, this is rough. I thought the money would be the problem. Not, I mean, obviously not, but I mean, as in on the account, I thought money overall would be the problem, like training mage and stuff like that. But the money is fine. It's 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 the bracelets that I'm really really getting screwed on at the minute. Um, I actually don't know what to do. Okay, so the plan here I think might be to try out the orcs again. See if I can scare bots away with um, by attacking them. See if that fares any better because I'm slightly lower wild at orcs and therefore less absolute androids like that guy can get on me. Um, so I should be a little bit safer in that regard. Uh, there's quite a lot of just l like normal accounts at Orcs though, so I don't know if that's going to work 100%. Um, but we'll try, like there's more PKers at Orcs, even if they're worse overall, so it might not work out. Uh, but we shall see. Uh, right. See, just loads of people like that at Orcs. Right, we're new to the bots here, so we don't actually know. Pretty sure this guy is. Let's give it a go. Yeah, okay, perfect. <laughs> Things we love to see. So hopefully the PKers here won't be too bad. Uh, he says, just as a white dot logged in. Don't know if you saw that. Um, but hopefully we should be all right. We'll uh, see how this goes. The kills per hour here should be pretty good because they respawn so quickly. So uh, I might measure that as well, actually. Let's, let's, let's see how we do. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Red Dehyde and Full Dragon? Are you planning on attacking me? That's a bizarre find in the ref game. That went well. <laughs> oh, he just clawed me out. Fuck's sake. So like dressed like a bot and then just clawed me out. Oh, get in the fucking bin. <laughs> Back here. We got clawed out. So, uh... Yeah, I think quads is still going to have to be the play. We've got 120 orc kills per hour, which just isn't that good. Um, quads is definitely way better. So, yeah, back to quads. And, yeah, that's time to time, time to go and lose even more, Ether. Yeah, nine, nine bracelets down yet again. And none that we can... Uh, and none that we got back. So, yeah, this is going fucking brilliantly, I must say. Oh, leave me alone. So many of them at the minute. 107 combat. Fuck off. Honestly, I'm... Okay. <laughs> now I'm just confused. What the fuck was that? I've, I've got to hop there, haven't I? Surely. We've actually completed a trip for the first time in ages. 824k in the looting bag. Can we escape? Another one mil totem. I guess uh, I guess them being common is quite nice. Good GP back, I guess. Uh, yeah, early in the trip as well. So, cool.
Cool, cool, cool. I need to, I need to uh, get some of the higher rarity ones. I'm s <laughs> fucking hell. I'm still missing uh, the relic and the, is it medallion? The 16 mil one and the 4 mil one. Uh, which, oh, for fucking hell. I keep logging in on PK. It's crazy, man. Um, hopefully he didn't see me, or if he did, he didn't. Doesn't bother giving chase. Uh, but yeah, one mil emblem secure. Okay, so it's the uh, it's the morning after the night before, and uh, if you can't tell by my attire, uh, something went terribly, terribly wrong last night. Uh, so yeah, no more crossbow. <laughs> Oh god, if you don't laugh, you could cry, couldn't you? Um, right, I'll chuck up a screenshot of what happened uh, whilst I was in bed watching a bit of, bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! On, on YouTube. Um, yeah, we got smited for the crossbow. Uh, I, I feel like we've kind of been building towards this the whole episode. I feel like my uh, my arrogance arc of having a crossbow and, and claiming I can't get smited with 40, 44 prayer... Is, uh, has come to a swift end with uh, the loss of the crossbow. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, let, let, let's do a little bit of analysis on the uh, on the screen. So, yeah, top left is me watching Yu-Gi-Oh, obviously. Uh, so the guy that killed me was, like, 100 combat, wearing, like, full void, so I imagine he was a Max Zerker or something akin to that. Um, he was just fucking working me. And do you know what? I thought I was clicking the restores... Um, I was, I'll be honest, I was probably like uh, Karamban locking myself out of clicking the restores. And to be honest, he just really fucking worked me. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't think I really could have avoided what what happened. I mean, obviously I could have done. I could have just clicked restores and let myself die. But, you know, I was dying so much that day. I was nagging on the, on the bracelet so badly. I was like, oh, I really need to try and survive. I mean, in hindsight, he probably jumped over the agility shortcut to get to me, kind of thinking on it. So, yeah, kind of really quite a quite a bad mistake on my part, even trying to live it. I should have just let myself die, especially on mobile. Um so what have we learned uh don't skull up on mobile if you've got a rev weapon in hand because you're gonna die and probably lose it uh <laughs> oh god yeah so that that was that was mistake number one mistake number two definitely just remaining 44 prayer if i was gonna skull up ah i thought it'd be better because my combat level would be lower but it just wasn't. <laughs> I think if I'd been like sixty prayer, I wouldn't have got killed. I wouldn't have got smited there because it was it was one of those ones where like I got smited as he hit me. I think he hit me with like, like a forty four with a range, um, and that's and that kind of took me down from like ten to zero. Um, so yeah, that that was a bit of an error. Uh, what else? Do you know what? Actually, I think those are my two errors. I mean, they're two major errors, but but they're two errors. Um, in terms of mitigating circumstances, I feel like so. So there's one thing: my gear being so shit aside from the aside from the rev weapons makes it all the more enticing to use them um, in the caves versus just using whatever. Because if I had a maple short bow and a salve amulet, I'd just stick using that because I'd be able to kill the demons and that without it. Um, but because I haven't got any of that, I kind of have to. Um, I kind of have to use the rev weapons that I get. So, yeah, that, that's one thing. The other thing is the bots. I, I, there's a, a significant amount of blame here. <laughs> I mean, and this is cope. Um, can be laid at Jagex not dealing with the bots, in my opinion. Because you kind of have to skull, if you know what I mean. Because if you don't skull... Um, at quads or at orcs or whatever, you're just going to be overrun by bots that don't teleport from you and they just swarm the revs and it's just miserable. If you're sculled and you can kind of hit them from time to time, you know, you you, you increase your kills per hour. I mean, I showed you guys, I increased my kills per hour about 50% just by sculling up. So not only was I getting about a 50% better rate of uh, getting weapons, I was also killing them 50% faster. So I was like more than double getting like i was more than double 
the rev weapon unique, well, more than double the unique rolls per hour by sculling up. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of kind of tough in that way. So, yeah, basically, all in all, <laughs> we are where we are. A uh, bit brutal, but are we on it? so the main thing I need to do now is just avoid burning out. I mean, it's probably quite easy to burn out losing a crossbow. Um, it's not the end of the world, though. I still had a lot of stuff to do in the rev caves, and chances are I'd have probably got a dupe one anyway. So the only time where this is going to really hurt is if the crossbow is now my last thing that I get from the rev caves. Um, hopefully that won't be the case. So silver linings. I can start building up my ether stack again. So I was really kind of starting to cut through it. So it would be good to get that built up again. Um, I think I've learned as well that if I'm if I if I roll something like Venonatus uh, after the rev caves in the situation I was in, I wouldn't have had the ether to do it. So I'd have had to go back into the rev caves anyway. So I think what I need to do in future is probably just not skull up. I think I'm going to skull up until I get a rev weapon just because the rev weapons are so much better. But I think once I do, I'm just not going to skull up at all because in actual fact, I don't need to rush all three rev weapons here because it's I, I need to use them everywhere after this because they're going to be my best in slot by a country mile. So I need to actually have the ammo to use them. And we're talking hundreds of thousands of ether is what I'm going to need. Um, because it's going to be a long, 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 long time until I get something better. I mean, the Theramon Scepter is like best in slot until I get a Trident. And like, when have you heard of a of a extreme one chunk Iron Man doing that much stuff with a Trident? Well, like doing that much Slayer to get a Trident, right? Never. Um, so yeah, I kind of have to use these weapons for a long time, and for that, I'm going to need a lot of ether, and therefore, I just don't need to skull. Um. I just need to survive in the caves. So yeah, I think that is probably gonna be one of the one of the things I'll change. Uh I'll obviously not skull up <laughs> but well, I'll not skull up on mobile. I, I was fine on desktop, like I wouldn't have got smited on desktop. My error was getting arrogant and sculling up on mobile, thinking that oh, I'll just click restores and I definitely won't die. Um, where, you know, if you're getting absolutely worked and uh potlocking yourself with cram ones, then you know, <laughs> kind of in a bit of bother. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what happened. Um, what I need to do is just get back at it and start killing the Pyre Fiends. Um, I'm 83 range now, which is a big difference from when I was at the Pyre Fiends before. So hopefully, hopefully we'll be all right. I'm not going to, I'm not going to burn out. I promise I'm not going to burn out. I'm, you can probably tell I'm not actually taking this that badly. Um, if this had been on my main Iron Man and I died for a crossbow and it was the only rev weapon I have, I'd probably be crying. But for some reason, it just feels all right on this account. I play this account despite the hours. In my head, I play it quite casually. Um, this is just my sort of having fun on the on the account. So like, like having fun on RuneScape after taking it seriously for so long. So I'm not actually too beat up about it. I've just kind of <laughs> learned not to make such catastrophic errors in future. Um, but hopefully we just get a crossbow again pretty soon and uh, and we, we get back at it. So I'm going to be at the Pyre Fiends. I've done a little bit of testing. My kills per hour now is like easy. I don't even think I have to use Adamant Arrows to get the right amount of kills per hour. Um, we'll see. Uh, I think I can probably afford to degrade to myth. The good news, though, is that I've got an insane amount of GP bank now. I don't, uh, you know, I've only got 1.5 mil there, but that even that will last a long time on early arrows. And I've got so much money from my time with the crossbow that I'm, I'm, I'm good in future, just on everything. So main thing to do now is build up the food stacks again, because I was hemorrhaging on that, and build up the ether stacks again. And we will get another rev weapon soon hopefully in the next video but yeah a bit brutal a bit brutal right let's let's get back to the pyre fiends so back at the pyre fiends let's show you a couple of things so most the most triggering thing by country mile is that the arrows that is the arrows just having to pick up the arrows so you can see how quick the kills are now i can hit up to 15s with the addy arrows now which is 
kind of crazy, bro. Um, so I'm glad I got those range levels from the crossbow before doing this. Could easily have just been dry the whole time. Uh, kind of waiting for a bot to log in so that I can skull up. Uh, but the kills are like so quick. Look, I mean, so there's a 35 second respawn timer on that. I'm going to kill this second one comfortably before that's up. Uh, which seems like a bad thing, but basically means that there's no difference uh, here between using the Addy Arrows Maple Shortbow combo and using the Crossbow here. So the kills per hour should be about the same at 120-ish. So we're actually not in too bad of a spot. I think we're talking about 40 hours for a unique roll again. Bit savage that I already had one, but <laughs> it's what it is. Um... I'm hoping that I just get the crossbow again straight away because then in some ways that makes me feel less bad about losing it versus it being the last thing that I need to get. Uh, and also my kills per hour would go up massively again like it did before. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this really isn't too bad and I can probably afford to degrade to the mithril arrows if not the steel arrows here. Um, and I wouldn't lose many, if any, kills per hour. So... Yeah, <laughs> main goal, avoid burning out. I don't think I will. I, it doesn't feel like I will. I feel all right. Um, but yeah, bit of a setback. <laughs> bit of a setback. But, you know, we keep going. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, get, we'll get a rev weapon, I'm sure. I'll tell you what, my stress level in the rev caves is a lot, lot lower than it was before. Like, if I die, so what? Oh, no, don't take my maple short bow. So, yeah, <laughs> I can chill out a bit more now. And I'll be honest, my kills per day probably goes up because I did spend a lot of time on mobile not logging in because I was a bit scared. Uh, and then, you know, sometimes the, the addiction levels would just get too high. I'd have to. Um, but now I'm not going to give a fuck. So I'll just, you know, I'll just be here basically all day, every day. What is it with the bots at Pyrofiends just like jumping on the power fiends even though I'm stood here skulled. Fuck off. <laughs> and there he goes. <laughs> they just won't leave me alone here. <laughs> Bring back the crossbow and the, and the quad so they just left me alone. That was the best. I'll tell you what, I feel a lot safer at Pyrofiends, just it doesn't feel like there's many PKs around here. I mean, obviously not, because the loot is garbage. Although the loot isn't garbage. I've been logged in, what, 20 minutes and I've got 400k in there, another 120, 40k in my invent. So, yeah, I mean, that was 500k in 20 minutes. Not too bad, to be honest. <laughs> Could be a lot worse. So I think I'm going to call it there. A lot of hours spent, uh, a lot of levels gained, uh, but kind of negative progress in some ways this episode. But we're going to be back at it again uh, in the next one, hopefully with another Revs weapon by the end of it. Um, massive shout out to the channel members who, as always, are Avery Fields, Eddie Mayer, Shocked Thief, Mitchell Nunley, DJ Focus, Grimsley, Grimzoso, Salnexor, Kai, Hunterman, Carl Sprouse, Ninrim, Papa Brando, Squang, Olivet, uh, El Pinin, Sir Yolo, IT Warrior, Crito, Fontcest, and with the huge upgrade in the channel membership, LS, who has gone from uh, Torva tier to the You Wouldn't Dare tier. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing something right, at least in his eyes. Um, massive, massive thank you to him. Although, as I said in the last video, you can never have someone at the top tier of your uh, your member list. So we're going to be creating another one. Uh, not not entirely sure what I'm going to call it yet. Uh, in fact, hang on. Okay, I've named it the You Really Wouldn't Dare tier. Really, uh, really inventive name there. Uh, I feel like I'm in a, in a war with my own subscriber, uh, with my own channel member. But you know, we'll see. I I'm confident I'm going to win this one. This is this is kind of my last hand. Uh, I, I haven't. I've not got any more levels I can add beyond this. So <laughs> we're at the end of it now. Um, but yeah, thank you to the channel members, uh, particularly LS for that just insane upgrade. Um, I, I don't expect anyone to subscribe at that tier or the one above. Um, I don't expect anyone to uh, to subscribe at any tier, but you know, thank you for doing so.
On the next episode, we shall be pushing onwards in the Rev Caves and hopefully getting back the Rev weapon that we lost. Kind of embarrassing that we lost it, but, you know, it is what it is. Shit happens. Uh, and all we can do is keep pressing on, not get burnt, and get all of the rest. I feel like what I quite like is an avarice. I feel like that would uh, make it so that I could just take the maple shortbow straight to the uh, straight to the high tier revenants. But we shall see. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one.